Hello, I'm Dave and this is Logan, out once again for a walk in the countryside. Thanks for joining us. Now today we're at the pretty village of Dummer in Hampshire. It's about six miles to the southwest of Basingstoke and about a mile to the south of Junction 7 of the M3. And we're going to be doing a roughly five mile circular route, starting and finishing in the village, heading uh, south across some quite glorious countryside out to the little hamlet of Nutley and back. Now I'm filming uh, in the middle of April, it's actually uh, Easter Sunday and it's a glorious spring day. The sun is out, there's a fair bit of blue sky, the temperature's just spot on, should be perfect for a walk, so do come along with us. Well, we'll start off with the walk with a little wander through the village itself. So uh, I'm going to start by coming in from the north. And there, a rather cute little, I'm presuming it must be a, a wellhead. And there's a bench there that uh, indicates it uh, was erected in 1937. And then just, uh, <laughs> well, I'm filming at, at Easter, so I'm guessing that must be an Easter bunny on top of that um, post box and this is a good idea here there's a, a map of the village and it's got all the sort of house names as well with a map location so useful if you're a, a postman I should think. And here on the right what's this the old Methodist chapel what does that say built 1863 enlarged 1867 and then just here on the left the old post office. I think there was a post office actually in the village until as recently as 2006. Oh, some lovely houses here, beautiful thatched cottage there. Oh, can you hear the bells? It is Sunday morning. This is very much a quintessential English village scene in the spring on a Sunday morning with the sunshine out. Oh, another <laughs> lovely cottage, well house. Now, just next to it, yes, here we go. There's this little wooden building with 1879 etched outside and uh, I can get up close. What does that say? Yes, there's an old well, an old well built here. Let's see if we can see through the bars. If not, I'll put a, some pictures up. But um, yeah, it's a. We can see there's a heavy axle carrying a quite a wide-rimmed wheel. I wonder if that was for use by a, a dog. I don't know. It's lovely that it's still here. And just a little bit further down, the Queen Inn at Dummer. And it dates from well, at least the 16th century. I know on an 1896 map it shows as a, a beer house. And I was reading that it was bought by May and Company, the Basingstoke Brewers, in 1893. And that's when it was renamed the Queen Inn. I expect that'll be our final destination. And then uh, another... <laughs> I keep gonna, gonna be saying this a lot, but another gorgeous thatched property just next to it there. Isn't that lovely? And this is All Saints Church at Dummer, which dates from around the, the 12th century with alterations in the 14th, 15th and 19th centuries. And it consists of a chancel, nave, west porch and bell turret uh, above the west end of the nave. The Doomsday Book uh, records a church here and the oldest visible part is uh, the south doorway to the nave, which is 12th century, which is now the round-headed window close to the, uh, the font. And the chancel and chapel date from the 12th century. And uh, there is a 13th century priest door on the north side. Well, the churchyard was closed to burials in 1856 when a, a cemetery was established about 100 yards uh, to the left here. There are several cast metal tombstones dating from the days when there was a foundry just about 100 yards west of the church. And then just uh, to the right, or should I say to the east, uh, that's Dummer House, uh, which 
parts date from the 18th century. Okay, folks, in we go. I have found the lights and it's quite a sunny day, so fingers crossed we're going to be okay. There's the, uh, the font. And uh, moving uh, forward, what a pretty little church. Now, just looking at the, uh, the pulpit over to the left, apparently it's one of the oldest pulpits in the country, constructed in the 1300s. Just very look at the uh, the ceiling there. Beautiful. And just moving forward towards the uh, altar, the organ there on uh, the left that was installed in 1896, refurbished in 1997, and then moving towards the altar. Beautiful stained glass window in front of me. Wow, look at this uh, gallery up there. Now, apparently, um, obviously it's a wooden gallery and it dates from the time of Charles II and the oldest and thickest beam right at the back there um, may have been salvaged from a ship. And indeed, all the timbers of the belfry actually adjoining the, the gallery are quite large. It's possible that um, this is part of the original Saxon wooden church. Just turning back around, looking at back at that ceiling again, you've got this carving under the sort of nave roof, and, and that's 15th century, or the, the, the rude canopy is, and the, it's 12 different panels all redecorated. Beautiful. Of course, they're looking very full of flowers at the moment, being a Easter Sunday. There was a service here this morning. Well, I simply had to climb up the wooden stairs to the, to the gallery, A, eh, to, to get a, a good view of uh, the church down there, but I'd slowly turn around and just admire these wonderful beams, particularly this really long one here. Gosh. And look at the, the ones at the back as well. You can imagine them being in a ship, can't you? What a church. <laughs> well, isn't this enchanting? The, the village pond, just standing here underneath the blossom. Of course, uh, in old days, with no surface streams or rivers, water for animals and crops very much depended on ponds and wells. And because they also relied on windmills rather than water mills to process grain. <laughs> A couple of ducks enjoying the morning sunshine. We'll continue with our little wander through this uh, delightful village. Of course, Dummer itself, the name comes from Dun Hill and Mur Lake or Pond. And they reckon the English surname Dummer is thought to have originated here as the Dummer family were lords of the manor between the 12th and 14th centuries. A gorgeous display of tulips on the side of the, the road there. It's always such a lovely time of year to be out and about. And there's the village hall. Quite a modern looking building, uh, built in 1973. Of course, most of the houses uh, around here were farms or homes for local workers. For example, the brewery, the foundry, the blacksmith and the school. Right, just here on the right, the old brewery. Indeed, it was an off-license and grocer's shop until the early 1900s, I believe. But the house was sold in the 1950s and is now residential. Oh, just at the western end of the village at Tower Hill, you've got this gorgeous little green, I think it's known as Seven Sisters. I'm guessing there might have been seven trees here once, I don't know, but there are, what, one, two, three, six 
quite exquisite cherry trees out in full blossom. Oh. I tell you, I'm getting quite a waft and of a smell as well. Beautiful. What a lovely way to travel. <laughs> what a cutie. Oh, isn't that brilliant? Well, I hope you enjoyed that little wander through the village. It really was quite charming, wasn't it? Okay, well, we're now going to head south out into the countryside. Just been saying good morning to uh, these three here. <laughs> uh, it's not uh, uncommon for me to see donkeys, obviously, uh, coming from the New Forest, but uh, uh, they're a friendly bunch here as well. Hey, it's gorgeous now. Nice little wind as well, keeping us cool. So this uh, farm track that we're on now uh, is actually on the um, uh, Wayfarers Walk, which is that 70 mile long distance path from Walbury Hill in Berkshire to Emsworth in Hampshire. And as we go along, we've got uh, marvellous views each side. Just behind me here, uh, a crop. It's that time of year that uh, sort of um, real green nourishment. It's really coming through the, the years, charging by already. But uh, gosh, it won't be long before uh, that crop will be uh, two or three foot high. site. Oilseed rape at its best. What a glorious colour on a, of course at its best on a sunny day like today of course. Just uh, circumnavigated Dummer Grange. Uh, can't see too much of it, it's uh, behind um, hedges. It's a private house, although you can see the very enchanting lake. But uh, the manor was acquired by uh, Waverley Abbey in the 12th century. Uh, that's, a, that's, well, that's a Cistercian house about 23 miles away in Surrey. And uh, the Grange basically provided food for the abbey. Indeed, I was reading that the Abbey owned something like 15 other similar granges and farms in the area. Well, just an update on the route. Uh, we've finished sort of coming southwards, just hit a, a little road. and We're now going to start heading uh, sort of easterly, sort of following the road for a, a little bit. Um, a place called uh, Dummer Grange Farm, I think. And of course, just up the road behind me is uh, Dummer Down Farm, which was, of course, once home of... Uh, Major Ronald Ferguson, uh, father of Sarah Ferguson, who of course married Prince Andrew back in 1986, which caused a lot of excitement in the village of Dummer. Uh, sadly, uh, um, the Major died in 2003. And uh, of course, Sarah, I think she's still titled uh, Sarah, Duchess of York, although I lose track. Well, Logan has just uh, spotted a hare in the field. Uh, <laughs> you won't pick it up on the GoPro. I'll see if I can get a, a photograph of it. Well, certainly getting some terrific colours on this walk. 
yellows and then look into that wood all I can see is well, a sea of blue with the bluebells and the way the, the sun is um, sort of percolating through the, the canopy of the trees above you get these tremendous shadows as well beautiful well, another little update on the route um, we're now heading north I've been going up a little lane called uh, Green Lane I think and we're heading to the little settlement of Nutley. Gorgeous white cottage just behind me here. I think, is that a cherry tree out in blossom in front of it? Beautiful setting, quite idyllic. Well, we're now at the little hamlet of Nutley. <laughs> it's quite small, not much to it. The Nutley Manor farmhouse was built in 1814, but a 1759 map indicates uh, an actual manor here. It was once a, a village with nine buildings. And just on the other side of the road there looks like there's uh, some stables that have been refurbished perhaps into a residential property. But the thing I want to look at is just behind me here. And here we go. Now an 1896 map shows that there was a church here called St Mary's Church as well as a reference to a vicarage and indeed look there's a, an information board I'll put it up on screen you can freeze it and uh, look at it and a few graves dotted around but there was indeed a, a medieval church here built uh, between the 11th century and 1845 and a Victorian church was built in 1846, but it was demolished in 1956 as the repairs were too costly and the congregation had uh, disbanded. So, uh, well, as I said, lots of greys, but I can't see any actual evidence of a building. I'm guessing it was... Uh, around about here to my right. So there you go. That was St Mary's Church at Nutley. Well, it was a bit spooky in that churchyard. Okay, next part of our journey, we're heading northwards towards Nutley Wood. In fact, here we've got an even better bluebell display on my left. Well, we're on the homeward leg now, heading back towards Dummer. Just had a gorgeous little meander through Nutley Wood. Oh, those bluebells were amazing. A well, good excuse for a pit stop here for the view behind me looking north. More oil seed rate, but uh, it really is quite a, a stunning view, it really is. Isn't that beautiful? Looking over. North Hampshire. Well just before we come back into Dummer there's a golf course here and this is the Basingstoke Golf Club. The club itself was established in 1907 to the north of Basingstoke and then moved to Kempshot Park which is on basically on the other side of the M3 in 1926 and a course there was completed in 1928 but 
The club actually moved to its new home here at Dummer, I think last year, 2021, taking over the existing Dummer golf course that uh, itself had been built in the early 1990s. And I think the old course at Kempshot is now being developed for housing. I'm not too sure. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our walk. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up and a like and do leave a comment. And do check out our Facebook page, Dave's Countryside Walks. We've had a super walk today. Dummer was such a pretty village and what glorious countryside. We're back at the Queen Inn for a pint of tailors. Well earned, I can assure you. So until we meet again, thanks for watching and cheerio. You fancy an ice cream? <laughs>